For support purposes, we have created some new installation sub area keywords. This helps us in tracking the issues that uh, our users are seeing. You don't have to be concerned with this when logging your service requests because the support team will add this information. But I just wanted to cover this so that you can get some ideas of some issues that uh, occur with installation. Deployment image, this is, of course, when you create a deployment image and you receive any errors in trying to do that or the deployment image doesn't work. Uh, download issues, this is when you're trying to download the software and for some reason you cannot or you get some kind of error. You can, of course, contact the support team. The failure to start, that's uh, related to the issue that I talked about in resetting the UPF. The installation error, there are errors that will come up during the installation process. You might get a code that shows up on the screen. Uh, you can feel free to to put that in your service request or when you talk to someone uh, on the support staff. And then also, you have the ability to upgrade a microstation or install microstation to the connection client. If you do do this and a microstation does not start or you get an error, please feel free to reach out to us. But I just wanted to show these sub-area keywords just to kind of give you an idea of some of the type of issues you might run into with microstation. Now, uh, in logging a service request, there are occasions where you may have to do this during the installation process or after the installation process where the program does not start. I just wanted to bring to your attention some information that uh, we need to get from the machine that either the installation was done on or if there was an error with the payload. Here you see this screen comes up. This is an example of an error that might come up in MicroStation. Here you can click to open the log file. You can send that log file to us, or better yet, you can uh, send us the zip file, and you can attach that to the service request when logging that information. So these are just a couple of links that I've put together that would be helpful. They're shared in the presentation, and they're also in our PowerPoint slide that will be uh, helpful in assisting you, uh, the system requirement, any type of error. Also, if you uh, have an issue where MicroStation crashes when opening, there's a link on how to gather a system information file, how to gather the MicroStation crash logs, and how to send that information to us. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.